felting on a polystyrene ball. Should we do that? Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey, it's Pam Duffy and it's a Wednesday so it's another crafting equipment and supplies review. I make videos like this every Wednesday so if this is something you're interested in don't forget to come back every Wednesday. So I see lots of posts about people wanting to make Christmas baubles obviously this time of year and some people have mentioned felting onto a bauble and as those are reasonably cheap this little guy was 35 pence I thought I'd give it a go and see if it's worth attempting to needle felt onto a bauble. So let's have a look and and see what I did. So basically to start with I was far too confident here. I've laid out many colours of wool. I thought I was going to make a nice quick little multicoloured bauble in no time at all. But as you'll see it didn't necessarily work out that way. So I attempted wrapping the wool around the bauble and stabbing onto it. And I have to say right off the bat, as should have been expected, the, it, there was so much more force needed with the needle to actually get it into the bauble. I felt extra resistance trying to felt into the polystyrene. So it actually slowed down my felting a whole lot. I could have felted much quicker onto a more forgiving surface. So it took a bit of time trying to felt. Now I can see if I'd have wrapped the entire surface of the ball in the fleece and then felted more along with the surface of the fleece to just sort of wrap it in an entire wrap without felting into the ball ball, it might have been a, lot, a little bit quicker. But really I was not enjoying this at all. I decided as well to try and focus in on felting just in one area to see if that was going to hurt the ball in any way or if that worked any better. And yes, the more I stabbed the ball became slightly more forgiving because there were some holes in it. But the fibre wasn't particularly felting at any speed. As you can see, once I've done quite a number of pokes into this Ball and then try and peel the fleece off and it comes off easily. It's actually coming off more e easily than if you were stabbing into a stabbing cushion. So the stabbing cushion grips more than polystyrene does. There's a small amount of the polystyrene left on the fleece and the ball itself has some holes in it. I will attempt to show you that if my camera will close up on it. Yeah, you can see here some of the small holes left behind. So if you felted quite a lot, then that would, over time, degrade the surface of the ball. And one more thing I really don't like about this, right, sorry, turn the sound down if you don't like weird noises, but just the noise of felting with this. really put my skin on edge. That's like nails down a blackboard to me. So personally I would not recommend using one of these cheap polystyrene balls to felt on. It might work for wet felting but for needle felting my felting speed was so much slower just because there was so much more resistance. I was constantly worried I was going to break the needle actually. Again just because there's no give really in the polystyrene ball so any kind of wiggle with my needle I thought oh this is going to ping off. And the end result's not really going to look that much better than anything else. If you're wanting to make a ball ball what I would recommend is just taking some regular fleece that you've got, maybe some colours you don't want to use and if you tie some knots in it, wrap it up and then you can cover it in the fleece and the colours that you want and you don't have to felt all the way through, it doesn't have to be solid in the middle so just felt the surface exactly like you would do on this bauble but it's going to felt quicker because you've got extra fibres, it's felting into something that it wants to hold to. So for me, for needle felting definitely don't try this. I'm actually disappointed, I thought it would be a fun way to make simple shapes but no, no no no. Okay thank you so much for joining me, if you enjoyed this don't forget click on my wee face to subscribe and come back every Wednesday.